for you, Jenna. Mm -hmm. Yep. Another round of applause for J.M. Roman. <laughs> A double round of applause for both Daria and J.M. Roman. Uh, before we bring up our final feature of the night, we have two Canology 20% off coupons and pins to go with them. What there's does the a, pin say? There's a heart pin that says Canton is a work of heart. Mm -hmm. and there's a pin of like a map of Canton and then a football. And then that's on both of them. So, pick a number between 2 and 12, but not 7. <laughs> one, 5. 5? Five. Uh, 9. 9. 5. Oh, you know, he already um, Five, six. nine, six. six. Five, nine, six, two. Five, nine, six, two. Whoa. Five. <laughs> John, right. John, all right. Now, you want to stay with those numbers, or do you want to pick two numbers? Sound good. Same. Five, six, Damn, two. Um, so we're going to release four new four plays by the end of December. In the back, we have all of our current four plays that have been out and actually have been out for a year. Um, if you purchase all four of them, I'll give them to you for three dollars. It's usually like one dollar each, but I'm trying to move them, trying to get, trying to get them out into the public. All right, our final feature of the evening. The only feature that remained that was actually scheduled before Look at me. Dedicated. <laughs> 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 the one that was actually <laughs> advertised. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm the furthest away, too. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hate on the other two because like, there was there was there were extenuating circumstances in both cases. Um, but our final feature's poetry contains imagery scrolled in sparkly shades of angst. Please welcome Lorraine Cipriano. I will start it out with a Buddhist vow where I bow to the punk rock artist in all of us. I have haikus sprinkled with regular poetry. I will start with some steampunk ideas. Steampunk black top hat, cocked to the side of clown's head, red joker-like smile. Straight hot pink hair and a tricycle horn honking. Lit clown biker girl. Retro punk rock clowns. Charlie Chaplin routine done. White face anarchy. Clowns are everywhere. Sitting pretty in the mist. Total denial. Red aura shining. It's that burn your hand on an open kiln kind of love. Or if you can't stand the heat, then get out the goddamn kitchen kind of love. The Dalai Lama preaching compassion to the hundredth power kind of love. Even the just like Beyonce not playing any games because I'm straight up thug kind of love. The go call Tyrone, but you can't use my phone kind of love. And the poetry about how the wind cries Mary to deal with our fight kind of love. That gets my red aura shining. So bust out the brown leather Ray-Ban sunglasses before I explode like purple sunshine and you get lost in my field of plumeria. Ooh. Ooh. Barefoot dancing while lavender kisses softly descend on shoulders. Ooh, that's kind of sexy. <laughs> Dandelion kiss, never wanting it to end, forever right now. Middle of winter, making cherry blossoms bloom inside of her heart. Poetic honey flows sweetly off of her tongue. Wild imitation. It comes in like this, 
Haunting music penetrates, sacredness of drums. This next poem is inspired by Azrael. We had a meeting at a coffee shop of Stealing Blue. He's like, you gotta bust out some radical stuff like, you can be a Lorena Holic. <laughs> this is called Lorena Holic. <laughs> <laughs> Wild energy sets him a quiver, iridescent hues of melon flowing off of her in waves cleansed them with a taste of freedom, provided sanctuary for a moment, now alone and purple-tastic, feeling it deep down in her core, flowing streams of words washing away like white sand, all of the dreams spoken of. Sadness sparks a flame the ocean red, blowing out the dangerous fire, completely by herself and wanting it to be different, needing someone to embrace fully a Lorena Holic existence. Support felt 250% of the time. A bit of courage needed to make it all a reality. Real love, her testament. I get a little feisty with my high feet sometimes. I'm just going to put that out there. <laughs> just so you all know before I read it. <laughs> Making it known to never get comfortable disrespecting me. <laughs> Lisp breath, our tantra, after prolonged eye contact and ticklish feathers. Magically real, yet something not tangible, skin on skin sunshine. Luxurious lips was his Marilyn Monroe, now waking alone. Like Greta Garbo, her allure was so unique, almost mythical. Silver screen vixen, Dietrich with her regal stance, feeling Hollywood. Stars in hollowed sky give glam witch bohemian path out of the gloom. Azrael also said, you know, you should also come up with a poem like The Good, the Bad, the Lorraine. So this is called The Good, the Bad, the Lorraine. <laughs> Sitting in complete silence, although mere feet from each other, 20 million hours meditating, mind like muscle flex, not willing to break this barrier, facing the whitest wall, cannot help make it easier. There will be no applause for the role of supporting actor, attempting to portray it daily, yet treating her with vitriol and all the blood and breath in between piercing screens, felt deep down to the core. This is how it was meant to be. All of his words turned to dust. Once friends, now bitter enemies. At the end, all that is left is a handful of slain parables. Divine intentions will not save him from the good, the bad, the Lorraine. <laughs> <coughs> She's such a misfit. But that is how he likes her, wild and dangerous. Entranced with her legs, yet the truth of the matter, whole body is art. These moments are it, each second and each minute, never enough time. His steely technique, her inner artist dying, made beautiful lines. Her love strung with blue, draped around his broken heart, turns sharply yellow. Naked sonnets swim through the river of her mind, splashing up desire. A moth to a flame, Words cannot hide such desire, burning it through brain. Pure chemistry when two sapiosexuals exchange their stories. I drink bourbon. I've smoked Cuban cigars. <laughs> so I wrote a poem where I put both of those things in it, just because. Under the influence. Taking swib, swigs of her bourbon and Cuban cigars when they hang, intoxicated by chalkboard haiku, words squirting water gun style like the most luscious peaches. Later in his kitchen, she is his snack, churning out delectable conversation, where the ability to calculate the distance of their love times harness power seems easy. And when intellect becomes exhausted, shadows begin their nightly ritual creeping over the countertop, making them worship the moon, dreams taking over conversation, yet she has never been more awake.
Wine stained kiss offered, revealed God is a woman, licking side of mouth. All right now, God's a woman. <laughs> Let me preach it. Glamorous diva, Greta Garbo eyes, faux fur, and blood lips, blood lips kill it. Dopamine levels go all silly when he's near, hacking happiness. Intense hazel eyes, blue-black hair, cherry red lips, an untold story. Refined energy, human body in motion, glittery aura. Her self-confidence is non-negotiable. Get with the program. <laughs> so Bonnie and Clyde, with that French new wave film love, their nature is raw. Because I'm Buddhist, I get into um, sacred geometry and how we're all interconnected. I write about it sometimes, so that's what this is about. Undivided single-pointedness. Called like a shaman in the dark to make him a magical Mandela, to try and capture the wonder of twin souls joining together. Flames united, unfolding into duality. Thousands of years later, such a healing process as it flows. Seeds of positive intention planted, stumbling onto something so mystical, opening up the heart-mind while two circles of a common radius slowly morph into four, and so on, and so on. Just like beings are numberless, she is the circle in his square as they enjoy a time-space opera and the mysteries of the universe. Just throw it around, man. Throw it around. <laughs> After the first one, no, I was just like, that's, that's exactly right. That's my high kill on that. Polyhedra drawn. Nets of edges represent their edges defined. Secure in knowledge of her lush inner beauty, no need to chase him. Looking within heart, silence of self reflection, acting from essence. Hustle like a man. Raised to not depend on one, better to be strong. No apologies for being fucking badass. Heed the lesson served. <laughs> Step into awesome, so creative and divine, she is a goddess. Black calla lilies symbolizing a rebirth, such deep plum magic. In 17 moves, the queen will topple the king, dropping her high heel. Put your chest up in it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even play chess, but I threw it up in it. Why not? <laughs> Bringing sexy kisses back. Their lips scheduled a meeting, and first on the agenda was to start flirting with each other. Of course, her shyly obscene smile eventually led to getting pushed up against the wall. So totally unstrung by passion. Licking on ears nice and slow, pushing collar out of the way, working it down to the neck, and then to change it up a bit sharing chilled strawberries that they both collectively were eating, pushing fruit forcefully forward, tongues starting an intimate dance, crimson stained kisses on shoulders, fingertips twirling hair so gently, words unnecessary in explaining transparent red shined lust. This intercourse of twin souls caused the poetry to fall away, made a song about the body electric. Mm -hmm. Beauty redolent of Shakespeare. With April's firstborn, flowers and all things rare, she came to share magic and also to set down the story, filling imaginations with stars and sparkly unicorn dust. The love that she has to offer like a bite from Eve's apple, his heart now under the curse of beauty redolent of Shakespeare, a heaven that led him to hell, yet always in mad pursuit of such lust and action plucking her petals with skill, never before arranged just so, crushed out on mournful hymns, wild music that hushes the night, never dulled by her song, lines of rhymes bleeding blue, a poet out to prove that her love has never been so true as this moment. I'm almost done. <laughs> Wait, can I just tell you, I, this has nothing to do with my poetry, but it kind of does. On our three hour drive here, 
I listen to all this Saul Williams, Justin Timberlake, whatever, all this hyped up, rah, 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 Eric B. and Rock Kim, I don't know, whatever. So Justin Timberlake, let me just put this out there. <laughs> I was telling Matt, I'm like, you know what, I should start my poetry reading off begging like Justin, because it's so sexy, and just be like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> so I'll start off my IQ like that, like, oh. Two. I'm begging. <laughs> okay. Dance of seven veils, making solemn oath for her, gift of true desire. Writing a haiku across back of fingertips, tracing gentle curves. At Lorraine Hotel, graffiti and crumbling stone mark where they shared love. Brown leather harness used to capture saucy minx. Let the games begin. Black lace panties drenched from the aftermath of lust, shoved into her purse. Smashed up candy canes, rubbed gently across lips, magical flavor. Of course, that's my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Such an idiot, okay. With socks so gangsta, Al Pacino gave himself the kiss of death twice. <laughs> Love haunting her heart like a Lana Del Rey song on repeat all night. Two more poems and I'm done. A quiver on a winter evening, marked with a stain of desire, freckles covering skin like language, telling the story of sweat and smiles, wild and how it all goes down. Pheromones make it extremely urgent. The sonic boom, exploding lavender, pop candy of her open crevices, yet without intelligence, meaningless. Hacked into the body electric, the melting space time continuum, the wind, the moon's imagination. Most beloved, your existence has me finding myself exposed, burnt on the signature of your son. Mm. joy, sipping redolent wine slowly, not a scintilla of remorse, as she locks eyes with him, knowing that her poetry is more wanton than her life, whispers it in his ear. It touches him so deeply that the tears come flooding, wilder than melted snow in spring. This sadness, her only pleasure, felt deep down to the core. Words flow blue throughout the silence of the night. Committed to their fantasies, the story tells itself. Lost in the red process, the workings of a muse, caught up so completely in the richness of his mind. Busy with this nocturnal adventure, whirling away her verses, such delights tasted together. Yeah. This is my last one. The Good, the Bad, the Lorraine Part Two. <laughs> She's that wearing glittery boots that you can see a mile away, Diva making you replace a wedding ring three times and still getting a divorce diva. <laughs> Letting you feel literate, even though she's read more books than you diva. Sitting in meditation focused on an attachment type of diva. Appearing peaceful, yet straight up from North Philly diva. Needing a partner so sensual that he makes Prince look lame diva. Bleeding heart liberal that wants to save the world yet needs healthy boundaries, diva. <laughs> Wanting to make the world less misogynistic, diva. Desiring a true life steampunk experience that involves an octopus, diva. <laughs> Trying to live in the present moment, diva. Can you dig it? Yet, and it wants a prize still. All right. Okay. All right. This first um, door prize is from the apothecary over on Fourth Street. It's uh, deodorant 
uh, lip balm and uh, toothpaste. I don't know if they're vegan. I know they're um, essential oils only. So maybe they are vegan. Um, I guess I'm figuring that out too. Um, all right. So picking a number between two and twelve without picking number seven. Who's in the back? Anyone? Can I go again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Eight. Six. You already went, John. Okay. Okay. So you're going to... Six. Eight. You said four. Nine. Nine. Six. Eight. Still cold. Nine. Still cold. Eleven. Eleven. Five. Okay. Four. Four. Oh, I'm sorry. I think two. I heard the, I heard the sound. I thought it was Jack. And okay. Six. Just remember your number. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Four. Hey, we left. All right. I'm gonna pick a new number. Keep the same number. This is another thing from Cantology. They like to help us out. Um, it appears to be a downtown de vinyl decal. And two. No, just like a box of something. A box of magic. Mystery box. <laughs> so like two blocks of wood with like one side says Canton, Ohio and one side is a map of Canton. Ghosts. It could be ghosts. Ghosts. I would put my glasses back on it. Doors. All right. <laughs> so you want to stick with the same number or pick yeah. a number? No, I'll keep sure. the same. Good? Mom, All right. Man. <laughs> yeah. Ten. Did someone pick ten oh. that wasn't John? Okay. Hold on. Pick nine. <laughs> Someone pick eleven. Okay. All right, Woo! 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 Yeah. All right. At the end of the night, we have one more prize. That is a, a T-shirt that says like Asterix U or Y O U apostrophe R E. It's from the Hub. I'm, and anyone who's anyone who has won anything or not won anything can go for that one too because it's yeah, a pretty awesome T-shirt. I don't want to deprive anyone. I'll take the number on that one. Okay. All right. All right. And it's all random. It's all random on the dice machine. <laughs> dice machine. All right. Um, our next show is on January 12th. It will be right here at the local. Woo! Um, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Second Friday. Every second Friday, we're here. We have three features. All three have not canceled yet. <laughs> Yay! <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Hard subject to change. They have canceled. Yes, yes. 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 Our first feature, well, I, I, one of our features of the night, Loves his poetry and does it because it feels good. It will be John Walters. Woo! Round of applause, because he's here. Woo! Woo! Um, next feature, emerging Cleveland author, a new voice in the lit activist scene, Aurora Stone Melman. Woo! And flamenco-tinged prog folk to jazzy, funky, soulful pop. Atomic Houdini, everyone. All right, so if you want to cut the hold on my head after I do the poem. All right, I'm going to read the poem from the Page a Day anthology. Oh, BTW. Because I just said BTW in public. Um, anything, if you purchase anything tonight, I will give you a copy of my uh, audio CD with a bunch of poems on it. Um, so just, I'll just give it to you for free if you purchase it. Um, all right, so this is from January 12th from the Page Day Anthology. It's called Hide and Seek it's, um, by Amitabh Vikram Dwivedi. It's, a, it's an Indian name, and I'm sorry. <laughs> it's called Hide and Seek. The continuous flow of words as different masks on the same soul always shroud the truth. The old dusty stuff. Flow seems clear as the semblance of any crystal. Soul perceives the absolute and our eyes perceive nothing but always our truth. So many truths are born. The flow of the of lie remains intact. We do not change, but, but crowd our faces with the newborn infants, with so many faces, with so many souls. Applause. <laughs> okay, you know.